So recently you guys been seeing me wear these water shoes and some of you commented on it asking what kind of water shoes they are and they are the cross kicks. This model right here is the Tetras and I've been wearing them for a couple months now. They are kind of dirty but I, will, I do walk in the water in the mud and stuff in them. They do rinse off really nice. Normally I'll be wearing flip flops and that's what I've been wearing for years but I got tired of my feet being roasted by the sun and having this crazy tan lined, you know that flip-flops have i'll post a picture right here so i saw a couple of guys in the in our fishing club and stuff like that wear these cross kicks and i wanted to give them a try i heard that they were comfortable and they are comfortable these tetras right here have a it's like a, a cork sole into them and they're super comfy and i can stand in them all day no issues at all the only thing with these they do get a little warm because not a whole lot of airflow goes through them. But other than that, I absolutely love them. In my last video, you heard Sean talking about his feet being roasted and I didn't feel a single thing with these and I was completely fine all day with them. I reached out to Cross Kicks. Cross Kicks kind of reached out to me too uh, through word of mouth and stuff like that from Chris Bailey going to iCast. I am now partnered with them and they sent me these ones because I wanted to try what these 2.0s felt like compared to the Tetras. I did buy these ones. These ones were given to me. So put that out there. Now the difference between these two, you have a more open kind of shoe where this one has like an inline sock deal. So this one won't allow a bunch of rocks and other debris get inside of it. You will get some sand some fine sand go through there, but it washes out pretty nicely. This one will allow more bigger rocks going through, but they go out as easy as going in, if that makes sense. When I first put these on, these 2.0s, I wasn't sure about them. Like I wasn't sure if it's gonna like be comfortable all day because they felt pretty stiff. And I guess with any kind of shoe, it's going to feel stiff until you like kind of break them in and stuff. And I've been wearing them all day today and they have loosened it up. They have been, you know, getting more flexible and stuff like that with the sun and everything. And with the black color, I was kind of worried about the black color being extra hot, but no issues at all. And it's the middle of summer at 11 o'clock and I don't feel any heat. And actually, this one actually feels cooler than this one because the airflow goes through that a lot easier than airflow going through that. I think these are a little bit more comfortable to wear all day. And if you're gonna be walking in the water a lot, getting in and out of your kayak, but these are good for if, if you're planning on taking on and off your shoe a lot, if you're like in and out of the water, you know, going camping. Nice and easy. Bam, I'm ready to go. And watch, let me, let me put this one on. <laughs> Done. <laughs> that shoe isn't really that hard to put on. My feet were wet, that shoe was wet, so it made it a little bit more difficult. But normally, when everything's dry, it's a lot easier to put on. I just wanted to be clear, so anyways, Let's continue. I can't give you a comparison against Crocs with these because I've never wore Crocs. I've wanted, I've wanted Crocs before, but I couldn't see myself spending like 60, 70 bucks on Crocs that I knew that they cause issues at boat ramps because they don't grip the boat ramp. And I've seen people slip from Crocs. So I never got them. I've always just wore these. And these grip good and I haven't really tried these out on boat ramps yet, but from what I've been told, they grip boat ramps. They're, and they're supportive on the ankle. Crocs, they don't have that support. So that's just a little comparison there. But yeah, so far my initial feeling of the 2.0s and the Tetras, I love them. It's a lot better than wearing flip flops and having open toed shoes in a kayak with hooks flying around. That was another reason I wanted to go to shoes instead of wearing flip-flops all the time. And I've broken my toes wearing flip-flops and I just got tired of things happening to my feet. Yeah, uh, 
cross kicks wanted me to do an unboxing but there's not really much to the unboxing it's just this and some paper <laughs> but maybe if i remember i can uh do an update after a couple months of wearing these i think we're gonna be wearing these more than the tetras i think the tetras would be a good river shoe this is good for just anything else i can take on and off really quick i think you'll be happy with either one you want so uh, if you want to save some money you can go down into my description there's a code down there it's cmf20 save yourself 20 percent off your order but you have to click that link that's right underneath it and when you click that link and you buy something from their website i get a commission off of that so just to give you that information um, it helps out the channel i get that little commission and uh yeah so it's a win-win you save some money i get some money so i hope this video is helpful if you're looking for some water shoes i think these cross kicks are the deal they're going to be coming out with newer models different models for different situations and stuff like that and if you have any questions about these shoes or any other cross kick shoes just leave your question down in the comments and i'll get back to you with an answer yeah so i've been fishing a little bit today we can go into some of these fish catches and probably just end the video there because not much else going on today You know, feeling bite. <laughs> That's why I didn't feel him bite. It's a little baby. Oh, that was fish number one. Yee. Little guy. Goodbye. Go. Oh. Golly. Did you see how small that thing was? Hit like a 10 pounder. I'm getting bit right here on this point. I think they're just little bass. One came out of the water, just had another bite, and just, it's biting again. There we go. <laughs> the little guys, they're probably all stacked up right there. Goodbye. Well, that was a little bit bigger. Oh, I think my battery died. It's sick. I knew I should have charged it. At least it's like right there. Okay. Well, at least it's right there, you know. It's not way back there like a PA would be. I'm not gonna have an anchor for the rest of the day, but that's okay. Let's go back to that one point where I was getting those bites with this and see if I get anything. Yep, first cast back over there. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, there's a bunch of little guys stacked up in this. It's fun. You're catching stuff. Oh, don't hook me. I'm a little guy. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. I had one. There's a bunch of little guys there, man. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> They're fun, though. Goodbye. How is there nothing under the dock that wants to bite? God. better one jumped right in the net slow dragging the worm in the old culvert area it's like a 16 or so let's put them up there real quick 17 17 on the dot good deal there you go 17 on the worm good bite good deal good deal that's a very light bite they're not really wanting to commit to anything. I thought I felt them earlier. And I left it down there. And bam, got them. <laughs>